After three successful years, the Granada Hills Grub Fest is the largest continuous food truck gathering in the nation. We're going to take a look at behind the scenes to see why this town is the model for the food truck craze in our country. This is our third summer and everything seems to have fallen in line. There's, there's a bit of a rhythm to it and we owe a lot of thanks to the local businesses here that have worked with the owners of the food trucks. We owe a lot to them as well working with the local businesses to just make it a fun event for everybody. It's great, you know, you have your varieties of food, everybody comes out here and leaves with a smile, you walk around, you have your dessert trucks, and people walk their dogs, and it's just amazing, it's so much fun out here in Grotta Hills. Everyone's in a great mood, you get this huge support, you, we see our locals, we get to see the same people, we get to see new people, we get the people coming out to support us, which is just great, and you, and you get that warmth of that small town USA that we don't see anymore in LA. To prepare for, at times, over 50 food trucks, promoter Mary Turner starts early Friday morning. The system that I do here by putting the signs and stuff out so they don't block the businesses and the trucks come in the evening, they have their spot and then they can just come on in in the afternoon. Well, I think Mary's overall system is great. It creates a 14, 15 hour day for her, which I mean, is incredible, but she puts the signs up so that there's not um, cars parking. Cars used to park in front of the businesses to block their space where the trucks would go. And when they did that, they would block all the parking. Parking's always been an issue in Granada Hills. This is no secret. There was probably about three months where we actually just tried to shut the entire thing down. The two main reasons were parking and cleaning. Since Mary came, Friday mornings, Mary and her crew, they put the, the, the cones each cone has uh, the truck's name on it, you know, organized. 4.30, 5 o'clock, the trucks start coming. No more traffic on the streets, no more uh, yelling, no more shouting, you know. Everybody come, all the trucks, they, they know their spots, they park. You know, beautiful. Everybody's happy. And I think all the neighbors are happy. And I, I hope everybody's appreciating what she's doing. Hi, Mary. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Have a good day. You too, hon. Take care. Bye. Bye. Our food truck is doing well, thanks to Granada Hills and Mary. We have an amazing location where we reserve each Friday, and it's doing very, very well. I want to say this is where I do my best. Mary's like our mom. She's the food truck mom. She's, she's accepting. She's going to love us no matter what we do. She's going to scold us when we're bad. She's going to let us know when we're good, and, and that's what we're looking for. One okay. of the reasons we love coming out to Granada Hills especially is, um, you know, there's always a reserved spot for us. Uh, you know, we pull up, there's a sign with our name on it, and we know exactly where we need to be. With the thousands of people that come out to the Grub Fest, they leave a mess behind. And the cleanup after the trucks leave in this four block area is quite extensive. They get all this stuff off, make sure there's no more grease stains on there. Because there's nothing, just no truck for the line. Mary's cleaning crew begins around 10.30 Friday night and ends around 3 a.m. Saturday morning. She's cleaning basically all the sidewalks. And she's grabbing the horse, washing the sidewalk. Next day morning when we come to work sometimes, she approached to me and asked me my opinion, what she have done. Is everything clean the way it's supposed to be? I should say, and she is doing a very good job for our community. Well, Mary's cleaning service has been very beneficial for what I call the township area here on Chaucer Street. I mean, she's very consistent. They do a very thorough job. You know, in the past, you know, we always had to kind of rely on the city cleaning, which was, you know, okay, but very sporadic. But in Mary's uh, company and her situation, they have a very good regimen and they come in and do a very thorough job. So 
definitely coming in on Saturday morning, the, the street looks very nice, and, and for the customers and for everybody uh, who walks in the area. How dirty is it tonight? Dirty enough. A lot of stains, a lot of uh, grease stains and stuff. You gotta pull off, you know, and scrub. You gotta soak it for the degreaser just to loosen it up somewhat. You gotta clean, because we don't want it to be like that the next day. It's hard to find uh, good, good workers like her. Yeah, but she does, we're very pleased with what she does. And because these food trucks do make a big mess when they leave. And uh, we've had our issues at the beginning, but uh, it's been clarified. She's just been t taken over. We wouldn't have food truck night if it weren't for Mary. She not only cleans the streets where the trucks are, and I know that they do their own level of cleaning, they take their garbage, but what I don't think they realize is that in the alleyways and all around the streets, people walk and leave their trash. And without having that get picked up at the end of each night, there's cockroaches in buildings. We had a real problem when this first started. And the only way it came to a place where it was workable for both the businesses and the residents was when Mary came on board and started cleaning for us. Whatever long it takes until we get the job done, it has to get done. We can't just leave it not, and then wait to do it another day. We have whatever long it takes. If it takes us seven hours, we do seven hours. If it takes a longer, we take longer. Saturday mornings especially, it's clean, shiny, no more ants on the floor, no more grease. You know, she takes care of it like, uh, like uh, her own backyard. You know what I mean? Sometimes I come at 4, 4.30 at morning, she's still on the street cleaning. It amazes me, you know? This night, Mary's crew finished at 3.30 Saturday morning. So the next time you come out to party at the Grub Fest, remember, it took Mary 19 hours to produce this fun gathering for the Granada Hills community to enjoy. Mm -hmm.